Time, ladies and gentlemen, for your headline super fight of the evening. Three rounds in the women's super bantamweight division. She shocked the kickboxing world by taking the belt in Denver at Glory 56. Please welcome Shadi Menezes. It was back to the drawing board for Menezes after being stopped in her last fight for the first time ever to the world champion, Anissa Mexen. But she says she's back and better than ever, and we'll see just how good she is tonight. Yeah, and she's had three fights in glory all against Anissa Mexen. So she did gain a lot of experience fighting the, you know, the pound for pound best woman striker. But it's refreshing for her to have a new opponent. But. Their new opponent is the number two ranked in the world, so no easy fights for Menezes. This much talked about talent has forever etched her name in the glory history books. Please welcome Tiffany Van Soos. Tiffany Van Soos, a partially detached retina. Scary stuff for any fighter. Thought she might have to retire briefly, but thank God it was caught in time. She had the laser surgery. She's 100% and says she cannot wait to get back to doing what she does best. Yep, and what she does best is her ability to move, her ability to hit and not get hit. You're gonna see her attack on angles and her footwork is on point and one of the best to have the, that movement of hit and not get hit style. Here is our tale to take for this, our main event. Tiffany Van Soos, 30 years old. She's in her prime, five foot four with a 64 inch reach. Menezes, 27, five foot three with a 63 inch reach. With the professional experience, the edge going to Van Soos, only 16 fights for Menezes, but in those 16 fights, she was able to have a 38% knockout ratio, or Van Soos with a 32% ratio. Inside the number, seven fights in glory for Tiffany Van Soos. J.D. Menezes with just three power shots. Look at that from Tiffany Van Soos. 62% Menezes is going to have her work cut out for. Her. Now my keys to glory for this belt is Tiffany Van Soos to use that footwork and movement. She's got to feint, attack on angles, and she's got to mix her boxing with her kicks and knees, where Menezes, she's got to pressure, use her ring control, and she's got to get a high output if she wants a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your headline super fight features two former world champions trained on the beaches of Bali and Brazil who have appropriately come to battle on South Beach for a chance to regain lost glory. This bout sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission and at the bell, your referee is Wayne Spinola. From Miami-Dade to Dusseldorf, kickboxing fans are watching around the world it's time for glory! <laughs> Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the black corner, she made her debut inside Madison Square Garden in New York City at Glory 43. Her record, 13 wins, three losses, five of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet three inches tall, 1.60 meters, she weighed in at five time at an even 121 pounds, 54.9 kilos. She's here in Miami tonight out of Curitiba, Brazil, and is the former super bantamweight champion of the world. She is Shadi Menezes. Her opponent, Fighting out of the white corner, a Muay Thai world champion and the first ever to be called Glory Super Bantamweight Champion. Her professional record, 19 wins, four losses, one draw, and six career knockouts. At five feet, four inches tall, 1.63 meters, she weighed in at 120.4 pounds, 54.6 kilos. Fighting out of Bali by way of San Diego, California. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Tiffany. The Time Bomb, Van Soos. Once again, your referee in charge is Wayne Spinola. Come here, sir. All right, ladies, you know the rules. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Any questions? 
If you want to now, touch gloves. Step back, I'll get you guys started. A lot of respect from Johnny Menezes towards Tiffany Van Seuss before this fight. She said, I respect her, but I'm sorry tonight. I've got to kick her ass. Absolutely. And she said it in English. So you know she means it. Van Seuss, the OG, the original glory champion in the white gloves. Menezes in the black. Menezes is known for that forward pressure, but she says she's been working on her movement, working on some different skills. We're going to see what she's going to do. But right away, you're going to see Van Seuss fix her strikes, use her movement and distance control. She likes to use feints a lot as well. Menezes is probably going to want to close that distance and chop the legs. Five foot three for Menezes, five foot four for Van Seuss, but they've got thighs of men that are six foot eight. A lot of power, a lot of explosiveness. As his trains with Hemmer's Jim Brazil, so you expect good pressure fighting, good low kicks. Trains under Julio Borges, Hemmer's Jim Brazil. And Seuss spent a lot of her time in Bali training, the rest of the time in Southern California. Menezes. Good job so far closing that distance. Tiffany stays relaxed, keeps moving. She's got a really good left kick. Expect her to mix it in there once in a while. certainly being more patient than we've seen her in the past. Yep, that's probably what she's improving on. Well, is it improving, Joe, when you've, you've worked on a style that won you a women's world title? Do you really need to change that drastically? Well, I mean, even the fight she won, she fought against the best in the world. She had to force that fight, so it's evolvement. You can't just be a one-dimensional fighter. So the ability to adapt is, comes with experience. Minute to go here in round one. Oh, nice shot from Van Seuss. Best of the fight, gets a big war from this crowd. And she needed a good moment like that. Stop, 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 stop. Blood now coming out of the nose of Menezes. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, which is a powerhouse city in the mixed martial arts world. Top talent like Vanderlei Silva, Anderson Silva, Mauricio Shogun, who are all out of that fighting town. Good jab from Van Seuss. Yep, on angles too. That's just going to make it difficult to hit. He's never just sitting in front of you. It's interesting that Tiffany's nickname is the Time Bomb, but it's Menezes who's got trunks with bombs all over. Good opening round for Van Seuss. Yep. Just like how she hit and angled off right away. Here's the best uh, oh, front kick there for Tiffany. I mean, Tiffany does have a, a really extensive Muay Thai background before she came to kickboxing. So showcasing her good front kicks. And right away, you see her constantly move, manage the distance. <laughs> Tiffany Van Seuss, as I said, nicknamed the Time Bomb, came into glory, won her first four fights in a row, including her world title bout Became women's champion in December of 2016. She's 19-4 and 1, trying for career win number 20 tonight. And she's pretty vocal. She wants another shot at Anissa Mexi. Her opponent, Jaji Menezes. Signature strikes, that boxing and low kicks that we see now. Even in her corner, we have Glory Vet, Ariel Machado. Round two. Good start for Van Seuss. We'll see what the judges think. Good outside low kick for Van Seuss. Well, the hit, not hit, hit strategy right now is working perfectly for the time bomb. She's hitting that nice jab on, on the angle, and that's what's giving her her best damage right now as Menezes is coming in. Yeah, there's that left hand again. In 
round one, Van Seuss landing 33 of 60 shots. Menezes, 19 of 51. Yeah, it's Van Seuss left hand, especially that jab. Yeah, she just keeps slamming that left hand, and then she just found the right hand after it. And blood continues to pour out of the nose of Menezes, thanks to that front kick in round one. Van Seuss, who won a world championship in karate at the age of 18, called that the greatest feeling in the world until she won her Glory World title. A lot has been expected of Van Seuss since she was a teenager. She's now 30 and looking as good as ever so far in this fight. Being told as expected, Van Seuss won round one on all three judges' scorecards. Her, just, she's, her distance control is on tonight. This is the Tiffany we're used to seeing. She calls her style poetry in motion, and that's what it looks like so far. Very slick from Van Seuss. Even when she's not striking, you see her moving. Her feet are on angles, stance switching, fainting. She's never going to be a standing target for you to hit her. There she just moved her head off center line, landed that left hook. Really grinding the body now. Joe, to those who don't know what you mean when you say off the center line, what do you mean? Well, I mean, if you stand there with your head straight, it's easy for your opponent to find it. It goes straight down the middle. So Tiffany always has it going left or going right, so it's a moving target to hit. Moving target is harder to hit than a stationary one. Menezes needs to mix something up. Maybe she tries to turn this into a brawl. That straight left hand for Van Suit. Yeah, she threw that from a southpaw, too. There's that stance switch, that footwork. The most talked about rematch in stand-up combat is coming this December. Rico versus Botter, part two, December 21st. Over 20,000 seats have already been sold. We will pack out an entire soccer stadium, and you can see it live. Unfinished business, Collision 2, December 21st. That's going to be the biggest fight in kickboxing history. I just want you to thread her. Just thread her one side with the front side jab. Because she's coming in when she's yeah, back. Because she's she has to win this round. So she's gonna come out super aggressive. Okay? Good. Here we go, Joe. Round three. If you're in Menezes' corner, what do you tell her to do? Oh, we got to get inside. We got to pressure. Keep moving. Got to come in, counter right away. If you're going to eat a shot. You got to keep going. Menezes losing the second round as well. She needs a knockdown here in the third. Oh, good high kick from Tiffany. When was the last time you saw Van Seuss look this good? Yeah, she's, uh, she's sharp, and I mean, she's continually fighting in this and Mexican, so it's really hard to showcase good striking, but when you have a fight like this, you can really showcase how good Tiffany is. Well, even when, when Tiffany fought Sophia Olofsson, it was a fight that could have gone either way, but this has been a dominant performance against a former world champion. I think Tiffany does really well against pressure fighters because of her movement and her angles. Jody almost walks in right for the perfect style for Van Seuss to beat. That knee hurt her. That knee hurt Menezes to the body. She's dropping the right hand. Van Seuss, can she get a knockout? Straight left. Menezes holding on. Her face is bloody. She looks exhausted. Nothing she's throwing is doing any damage to Tiffany whatsoever. Expect Tiffany to go left head kick to the head. Another knee. Menezes, who was stopped in her last fight, might be facing the same fate here. That's a 
nice combination from Menezes. Yeah, I was watching a lot of Tiffany's pad work on her Instagram throughout the weekend. I did see them mix that knee in, so I mean, it was definitely something that was worked on. Good little pop shot jab, two of them from Van Seuss, and she missed the receipt back from Menezes. Yeah, then she just threw a nice up jab, angles out, misses the punch, attacks again. Distance control, 101. Away. She's moving, angling, controlling that distance. She just throws that check off left hook. That's what Menezes needs to do. Stay in there, fight. But that knee landed again. Yep, she's hurt to the body. 30 seconds left for Van Suze to pick up her knockout. She's only got six in her career. Tiffany's gonna show her experience now. She's gonna have to try to change levels with that left kick. Wants that finish. The jab has been scoring all night for Tiffany. Yeah, it's kind of, it's because what we're talking about. Menezes is keeping her head on center line. Tiffany gets it off, throws on Menezes' center line, and gets rewarded with good jabs. Fantastic, virtuoso type performance from the time bomb, Tiffany Van Seuss. Yeah, she didn't take much damage at all. Perfect performance from the time bomb. She said she'd gotten better. She worked on everything. She'd become more well-rounded. She said she worked on her strength, and everything tonight came together at the perfect time. Especially with the injury, you gotta think that she was extra hesitant about getting hit, especially in her eye. So her movement ended up working out, slipping the punches, moving with her footwork, and she came out without any damage. So let's take a look at the highlights from this three-rounder in our main event. Yep, hit and move style. Good front kicks and strike variety from Van Seuss. Good jabs, front kicks. And then we saw a lot of good knees that really hurt Menezes. Being the ability to attack offline, hit on angles, the time bomb style. Strikes by zone. Is Van Seuss really doing a good job at attacking the head and the body, mixing in the legs. Out through, landed more, threw more. Dominant performance. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. After three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three of our ringside judges scored about the same 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision, Tiffany Van Seuss. Tiffany, congratulations on an outstanding performance. You said you've gotten a lot better. You're more well-rounded. You looked at tonight. How would you rate your performance? Uh, I give myself like a six and a half or a seven. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. She looked like she couldn't even touch you. you two former champions, but you looked miles better than her tonight. How's that possible? There's levels to this, and I'm just at a different one. Oh, what do you want to do next? I want my belt back. What do you guys think? People have spoken. Maybe we'll see it again one more time for the time bomb, Tiffany Van Seuss. Congratulations, Tiffany Van Seuss. Again, looking spectacular, and she rated herself only a six, six and a half. I mean, you got to think that's what a champion does. She always wants to get better, and she still feels she can uh, showcase a lot more. She gave herself that rating. What rating would you give her? Well, I'm definitely giving her a higher rating, especially since, um, you know, she's coming off the injuries, and, you know, there's a lot of extra mental stress behind her. I'm giving her, you know, a good eight, eight and a half on my books. Well, she says she wants Anissa Mexen next. She's the world champion. She's watching this right now in France. Why not? Hey. Would love to see it again. Absolutely. All right, for Joseph Altolini and the entire Glory kickboxing crew, including our executive producer, Bill Borson, so long from Miami. We'll see you at Glory 68 on UFC Fight Pass.